Hey, 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 ladies and gents, it's your All Snows Random Planet. We are back here with some more spoopage, some more games here. And we have a full release of a game that we did demo before. A little bit of loudness coming here. Why they do this during the menu, I don't know. Um, but this is a full game release as they did before. So we have a down the dead full release 1.2.2 uh excuse me 0.1.2.2 production is currently in 1024p will increase to 10 or 2048p as soon as we confirm there are no more bugs or problems increases game size by double the amount which makes sense uh fixable adding some alpha clip textures did some fix the achievement system that's what starts sure working it's slow let us know added more gore stuff level bathroom one added achievement starting level two we are going to improve the content in the future make for chapter three melee attack on player will push them back a distance okay so that hitting us will push us back fix bug on level two replay the game other improvements of bug fix uh, fix Operation Room of Chapter 1, fix other bugs, added Chapter 2, still under development polishing, fix other some bugs in Zombie AI, so there's a lot more to this, added Backpack of Chapter 2, you can get more slots, other bu minor bug fix, so there's a lot more to this game than I thought there was, a lot more to this game than I thought there was, um, the developer ended up talking to me about replaying the demo and stuff like that, and just recently sent me a full key, this is something that he sent me. Hello, bud. There was a lot of changes to the last list of work. Added new zombies, changed the chapter route, and added a pistol at half part of it. Added a silent kill and zombie vision, which is new to me. Um, improved the game graphic, but in demo is currently 520p, 1020 in the future, so we have the 1024 version. Added more zombies to chapter. Improved tip system, made zombie eye guide the next point. May it, help, it will help seeing the unseen. Also improve the gore parts. Uh, there are countless things to understand. Happy you decided to review it again. I understand the time part. It's okay. Uh, I will be looking forward to your video. Have a nice day, night. All right, cool, 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 cool. Down the dead full release. Not a demo here. Um, would be cool to be able to see maybe if in the future these. Uh... All right, so we have the aim crouch. Shoot, interact, special vision, documents. Um, we have sensitivity here. Sensitivity is browsed decently up. Let's go ahead and start overwriting progress. What progress? Okay, that was weird. Unless it was... No, because that was on Ichio. Looks pretty solid. That wiggle was a bit much. Actually, kind of hurt the eyes a little bit. All right, now do document review. Uh, to my sweet girl, if you read this piece of paper, it would mean that I have died. I have participated in this experiment to find a cure for your disease. Emily, my daughter knows your father loves you from the very depths of his heart um i'm guessing it's emily my daughter comma you know your father loves you from the very depths of his heart if you're talking to emily specifically i wish that you live happily even if i die um i hope your sickness is healed and you can play again as you used to goodbye my dear girl so kind of sad kind of sad um so we do know that this is Oh my god, before you had to get up on the door like that. That's great. That is fantastic. And I do like the fact that they're actually pointing out where items are. Nice. Uh, can block melee attacks, can be used to break through some objects, have low damage on any enemies with higher inner resistance, better flee than fight them. It can be used to silent kill some enemies. Okay. So, like, I, I, would, I would love to build... Oh, where the hell am I? Wait, who am I? I can't recall. So a little bit of story here. Oh, and then we got to save uh, all the cool things that they're doing that we suggested. 
Um, click middle mouse or press F1 to activate zombie vision. Use middle mouse or F1 to use zombie eye. Zombie eye can see the unseen. Zombie eye will drain energy. Zombie eye will show human only. All right. Oh, I'm guessing that is not intended. So, as you can see on this, the zombie eye is working, but in the bottom left, like right below me, it's regenerating immediately. So it's it's almost like it's not using the zombie eye. It's just regenerating immediately. So if you're going to have the energy portion, that is literally just taking away from it. Obviously, the thing that's really cool is it's showing us things to do. Oh, and we did not have to crouch to be able to hit those. That is fantastic. Wait, what? What is that noise? Like a dog. Silent kill. You can instantly kill enemies once you are a good enough distance in their back. Um, you have to remember to keep a distance. Can be used when you're using a crowbar. Things will prevent your silent kill. Not being crouched at combat state discovered by enemies. Some enemies won't work on them like a boss or other strong ones. Okay. So, what you're telling me is I should crouch. So we can see the regular enemies. We cannot see the zombies. Can I sneak up on this person or is he going to move? Or oh, he does move. Okay, so we have to be careful about this. If he turns on us, he's going to see us. Yeah, that's what I thought. Stay hidden. I do like the eyes. That's neat. Oh, got your ass. Pick up. Oh. oh. I hear other zombies. Test something here because oh, there's another one right there. Just staring at a wall. Nice. Thank you. I don't know what the pickup is, but okay. That looked like a battery. I I love the fact that these are more interactable than they used to be. Doesn't look like anything's in there. Right, there is something in there, but I do not know what it is. Um, what the hell? Your stamina has increased. There's still three syringe in the map. So are these like just uh, power upgrades? Like it increases our stamina. That means our stamina pool is larger. Which is neat. Oh yeah, it's definitely larger. Let's go down that one first, or this one. I don't think it was this one. I think it was supposed to go down that one. Let's see how the stamina region is for this. Huh, I don't know. Oh, I don't think it really matters. You kind of just come back around anyways. This is new. That wasn't here, but this is taking part of the new jump mechanic. So, I want to test this. Oh my god, are you... So, like, look at this! I cannot even be looking at the door and still open it. They they definitely did jump the hit window quite a bit. Oh god. Alright, so another save there. Nice. Uh, one to hold flashlight, two to hold crowbar. Alright. This is the one thing that I was looking at. The arm. You have both your arms, so where's the other arm from? Room? All right. Press new document to view. Uh, death, death, death. Or death, death. It whispered through my head. What happened to me? Why would I write all of a sudden death? 
I don't know what they mean by that. Um, am I starting to become like them, these brainless creatures, or am I about to die? Why would I think all of a sudden about death, maybe? Um, I hear those goddamn voices. It doesn't stop. I know it's not real, but I can't stop it. Since I got bit by that damn patient, I can't keep my head straight. Oh no, I can't feel my legs kicking, or er, my legs anymore. I think it's kicking in. Will the world face the same doom? Is it the apocalypse? Can it be stopped? Does it matter? We are doomed. So, my question is, this looks like, um... Did he turn into a zombie and this arterial spray? So it almost looks like another guard shot him. Maybe. It still has that, that like, door. Oh, the other thing that's nice. They did, so you know that there's nothing hiding over there. That's actually kind of nice. Alright, what do we have here? Um, the one thing that I would suggest is when you pick something up, um, maybe have a, you picked up or added something to your inventory. So if it is a, I'm going to say, yeah. So if it is a battery, if it's a med kit, be like, um, picked up med kit or acquired med kit or added med kit to inventory or something like that as a, to show what it is. Otherwise people are going to be like, what the hell did I just pick up? Um, now, a little bit more experience with this, because... Okay. Alright, that makes a little bit more sense now. Um, compared to what it did before. Like, before, it was... Oh, my God. The Gushi. The Gushi. Uh, dorky, like this! You picked up door key to use your inventory, so you already have that mechanic there. Um, probably wouldn't do the attention thing um, to be able to stop that, but even, I mean, you could just even change it to where it's just something that highlights saying, hey, pick this up. You don't even need to do something that big. Just be like, hey, picked up, and then the, uh, the name of the item. It can just be, like, not even like an attention like that. It can simply be a... It's hearing that sound that's throwing me off. Kit. Oh my god. Inventory is full. Need to resort to organize if it's needed. Um, what do I have? Battery, battery, med kit. So I assume we can use it. 20% battery, so I have to be careful with that. Um, more pistol ammo. Okay. Um, I just need to remember that I can come back and get some stuff then, apparently. Oh, what is that? That was a syringe. Wait, what is... Oh, it was close that we were... So there's a syringe over here. What do we got for the syringe? Your health has increased. There's still two syringe in the map. Okay. I can turn this off. Let's take a look through this door. Um, something's blocking it, it won't budge. Uh, it looks like there's a stretcher. If I remember correctly, that is a way that we came out later in the game um, from the demo. Play it safe, avoid getting caught by enemies, and remember that enemies could hear your footsteps. Interactions and gunshots. Only crouch nearby enemies, they also have a range of sight. Enemies will chase you and try to kill you. If you are seen, run away and try to stay crouched or behind doors. The I like icon at the bottom left will guide you. I like this. Um, so clearly they are going to use like the first part or the first chapter as like a... Um, 
kind of a start out and, you know, kind of a, uh, like a way to be able to teach new players how to play the game, which is something that really they should have done. Um, I do like that they did that. I do like that they are saving the game. Um, I also do like this because I could, oh dude, are they really showing you which way to go? That is so freaking cool. Okay. So the zombie vision literally shows you the pathing to be able to go. Okay. Literally you are walking away. Alright, so there's another door over there. It looks like some type of med kit in there. I shouldn't have walked in like that because there was a zombie in the other one. I don't know if I need another med kit just yet. Yeah, I couldn't even carry it right now as is. Um, we're at 105, so yeah. The pistol ammo and the batteries might be much more uh, important um, than another med kit. You have a new document. Uh, if I didn't agree, I've been here in this dissension room for almost a month, and a week ago I started feeling sick. They gave me the so-called vacid. Funny things happen to me. I hear voices in my head, my sense is sharper, and I feel frustrated hearing any noise around me. I have this strange urge to consume human or to consume blood or eat flesh. I even tried to bite someone. It's just weird. They tricked me into joining it. I shouldn't have listened to them. Umbrella much, huh? It's the Umbrella Corporation. Oh no, it's rich. Nice. Your health has increased further. Nice. We're up to one town health now. One more syringe on the map. That makes me want to search like the small nooks and crannies here. Alright, so we definitely are going that way. Alright, let's crouch here. Okay. Please tell me we get that gun. sneak past you because I'm pretty sure you would kill us in an instant. A lot of these guys would. I don't see anyone down there. Pretty empty there. Oh, there's a zombie down there. That's a pretty wide open area. Um, that would probably be bad if I aggroed that one without anything other than the crowbar. So the only thing that seems to be here is this door, which we... It doesn't seem to be able to have a door. Um, so something like that where it doesn't allow you to be able to get in there maybe not now maybe not ever simply allow it where it's going to be triggered but you just say it's locked or something like that or it's blocked or the door isn't working or something like that because otherwise there's going to be people thinking that's a hitbox issue so i do want to avoid this zombie here all right because it told me to go this way So we're going to keep the crowbar out just in case we have to do stealth kills here. Because the zombie sight is basically going to give us everything we need for... Another med kit. Okay, so med kits are very plentiful. Um, oh. Wait, what? Can't open right now. Why can I not open my inventory? I'm crouching. It's because I'm crouching. That's weird. Interesting. So you cannot open your inventory and crouch. 
That's something that I think needs to be fixed. That's probably a bug um, because you should still be able to open an inventory even if... Alright, so that guy is over there. Clearly, this is our way. test something. Alright, so no, that does not help. I was going to see if the zombie vision helps out, because I know this is a particularly long corridor from what I remember. It's it's a very, very long um, very, very long vent. I thought that there was originally going to be like a chase scene and something like this. I'm really glad that they did not put that in, um, because obviously you're only going to get a little bit. <laughs> it sounds like I'm running in the vent. What am I, like two feet tall? Um, yeah, it's it's a very long vent. Like it's let's face it, but I think what they like they have to do that because it's literally on the other side of the compound. Um, unfortunately, you only have so much map space to be able to work with and this gives them what they need here. I'm assuming this is the end here. Oh. Oh, that's right. This does go on forever. Alright, there we are. Alright. Just in case they changed anything here. So I remember you cannot get... Oh, see, I like this because it's going to show you a couple of things that you need to get to. Is the bone sound, though. Oh, you can't use the lights anymore. That's a new one. You used to be able to use the lights. We have more ammo. Um, is there any way I could use one of these med kits? It won't use it, won't use it because it says full health. Interesting. Um, I can drop it. I don't know if that'd be smart. We could probably be better off using one of these batteries because that's twenty percent. Pick up the ammo because ammo seems like it's probably going to be a good thing to build once I find a gun. Because I don't know how the gun is going to work. Oh my god, there's more ammo. Um. We just need to remember that it's here. Alright. Oh my god. Okay, this is... Then we're going to drop that. Um, we're going to pick that up. Now, okay, so it does drop it to where we can pick it back up later, which is nice. And Alright. Um, manual work tasks. Fix the blackout of storage room, second fuse, uh, fix after Alfred's room wall, fix the broken bulbs at hallway, fix room AI wall, check on detainees, report back to manager Kim, remove dead bodies from the operation room. Please fix this operating room's uh, valve has been jammed for a couple weeks already. Okay. See, this is where we are about to get to the point where things were a little goofy the last time that we played it. It took forever and a day to be able to figure out how to get those certain areas. There's something with this room that definitely does that for me. Oh! This also used to be a longer room with a door at the end, which is what I'm assuming that door is now. That's different. Okay, so that is a little bit of a change. Is this the final syringe? Stamina has increased. Nice. Zero syringe on the map. So we got the syringes. Oh my god, there's more. We, we've got to be getting a pistol pretty soon here, if that's the case. Alright. Ah, this is the room. This is the room I remember. 
Um, oh, nice and clear that, hey, you know, that interaction is there. Let's go ahead and open that up. I do know that is where the alarm is. I want to see if this is easier because that is a gas can up there. Very well done. That allows you to be able to see, hey, there's an interaction here. That took me so long to figure out because I thought that was paint. I did not realize it was gas. And it, I mean, if you really think about it, didn't know that was gas can, but yeah, gas would be dripping, drips and drip. It makes sense. But we're going to back up because we do not want to get hit with this. Bam. As you can see, now it does do that. Very, very easy. Interact. Push this. Now, keep in mind the reason why I know this is because I played the demo before. Um, because they sent me the demo before, and oops, there we go. Interact. Okay, so you don't have to try to jump over it, you just interact and go to the other side. I remember this guy being dead. What is this? Pick up more batteries. Actually, that's probably really needed right now. Um, yeah, rack up to 89% battery now. Let's turn off this damn phone. How about that? Pick up this key card. Alright. What's this? This was not here before. They, how they said that they added the gun halfway through. Oh, that is big. Alright, let me see the aim. Alright, well, it's... Okay, it's so the crosshair's focus. Oh, that's weird. It's going to be a little bit of an odd. I don't want to use the ammo. All right. R for reload. Nice. So it can hold 16 bullets, which is nice. So let's interact with this. We'll pull. Get this away from the door here. And I'm going to go grab the other bullets here as well, because I'm pretty sure that didn't really open up the all right but we knew these bullets were here so we're gonna pick those up uh, I'm assuming three is gone yes all right so we do know that there is this door still let's go ahead and it's so dark in here though like, you used to be able to turn on the lights. Oh, you can. Switch. There we go. I was going to say, to be able to save this flashlight a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and pick this up first. New document. Uh, don't do it. Don't switch off. It's going to come out again. Eh, please don't tell me what to do. Let's stop the alarm. Alarm was set off. And we got another save. Nice. So now we can go through another door here. Dude, the fact that I have bullets and a gun makes me so happy. A little odd animation, but that's fine. Alright. Okay. Okay, so it was waiting on the save. Which is fine. That's, that's just an optimization thing. Pick up another battery here. Um, we're gonna wait. So I'm assuming we get the backpack. It opens up the other four slots. That's gonna be so useful. That's gonna be so useful because right now it's a little iffy. Okay. Oh my God! There's so much ammo. Um, let's see if I, I can't re-rack the gun again. Um, but I do know if I need to use it. Oh, you're going the right way, though. I do have if I need to use it. I will be coming back here. And is that more ammo? Oh, that's my kit. Okay. door. 
Okay. Um. That's more ammo. Oh. Alright, well, we're gonna test this. Wow. Okay. Alright, so it's about four bullets a pop. That's a lot. That's a whole hell of a lot. Um, means I want to go back here. There's more there, but we knew that back here there was two more. What I want to do is I want to keep the ammo, because I'm assuming that there's a very limited amount of ammo. It makes sense. Um, but there was ammo over here. There we go. Am I only up to 15? Oh, three, three, one. Okay, okay. Um, that might make sense to be able to drop the one then. Let's try this. Yep. All right. So it's you're gonna you're gonna have to do a little bit of inventory management until we get the backpack. Um, that it said is in its stage two. Uh, this was a med kit. We have not needed a med kit so far. Zombies are, I mean, it's, they're challenging. They're challenging because if it's four shots per, you're going to have to really, 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 uh, emphasize your pickup on ammo. Um, so 333, three, three, there's 16 and 9. All right. So 25 shots. There's another one up there. Kill these two zombies, so I'm not. Oh, wait a second. Pick up. Inventory is full. Wait, what? Were we actually. We weren't picking up zombies before, were we? I don't recall picking up zombies on it. Like, actually picking up zombies. Alright, we're actually going to turn that off because I'm not sure that that isn't. Alright. Use. All right, let's try this. Nothing found. Oh, pickup doesn't make sense. Search. Change that in the game to search because what you are doing is you're searching for things in here. So, like you found a med kit, but once again, you want to say, "Hey, I'm using this for this," etc. Um. We, we don't need the extra med kit here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and pick up this ammo. There we go. So I think I think the big things that could be fixed within this so far are giving us like just on-screen notification of what we're picking up, and then it, like when you go to be able to pick up the bodies, it's not pick up; it's search the bodies because what you're doing is you're looking for anything that they might have on them and then once again like when I just picked up the med kit off of that um, also tell them hey you know I feel like I'm going to miss something here yeah. um You know, also that way it can kind of, uh, you, you want to tell people what they're picking up, is what I'm saying. I do like, like, this is, this is leaps and bounds above what it was before. All right, another med kit here. Good. He's got more bullets. Can we? I'm gonna try resort. <gasps> okay, that is huge. 
to know that you can put all the ammo in one thing. Okay, that would have been really good to know. Um, You're going to want to put that in a tooltip to be able to let people, hey, no, hey, resort to combine stacks. So, like, ammo can be combined. That is huge. Huge, 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 huge. That makes inventory so much easier. So it doesn't look like we can go out this way. Um, I'm assuming temporary block, because I remember that being open before. All right. So the other thing that's really nice about this is it shows you items with the zombie vision. I need to get better at using the zombie vision, just plain because of the fact that I didn't have not used it yet. It's pretty new to me still. I remember this. I do not remember that. That is blocked off. Okay. What do we got here? Um, unlock. We need a key. Okay, so that's something that I did not. This is where I kind of got lost before, and I'm pretty sure I missed something here. Um so there's another battery. Pick up this note and see what it says. The Dr. Dre report. Uh, let's toggle the text here. Report, Professor Wilson, July 21st, 2019. Out of 61 test subjects, only one succeeded. All subjects received the new vaccine, Vacid-13, that was developed by our research staff. The vaccine shows symptoms of brain change to the patients as they vary from one to another, which is listed below. Their attention, reflexes, and sense in general have improved. Hearing speed has significantly improved as well. They don't feel pain. That might not be the best thing. On another note, we were faced with some problems. The side effects which changed the patient's behavior. Some of them said they could hear voices which are whispering in their minds. These voices are just telling them to kill and drink blood or to eat flesh. Also, some of these cases have shown a complete change of behavior and they just lost their minds which lead them to attack anybody. The male test subject from room A1, his brain is stable after injection, and all of his vital signs are functioning normally, but he's still in a coma. We have agreed to inject him with an adrenaline shot as the second phase of experiments, and I hope he would wake up soon to confirm it. Dr. Dre. Okay. See, I'm much more open. Oh, you know, I can hold on to medkits now, because I can. <laughs> because we can... Oh, wow, they added this. This is new. So, tons of blood. Coming from the sinks. So, blood, and then he washed his hands. They were clearly experimenting on because there's part of a brain there. All right, what do we got? Ah, oh, this is what I missed last time. One, three times to close the pump. Two, three times to close the pump. Three, three times to close the pump. The water pump was closed. Go to the crematory now. That sink that was running. Oh, if I recall correctly, there was a sink that was running nonstop in here. should once again be using the zombie vision even though I'm pretty sure here they're not going to stick um, specific oh take a look around here first um this is a completely different design so on this wall, there were sinks. I did not see another room. Um, uh, why do I have a feeling that the sink, the water stopped before, and there was a key inside the sink before? Now, it doesn't look that way. Um, oh, maybe... It, oh! The bathtub, maybe? Maybe. 
Oh, inventory is full. We need to resort to organize it. All right. So the other thing that would be kind of nice is maybe a keychain or something like that. We can hold on to the keys. I don't know. Um, I'm going to test something here. I want to see if the flashlight drains while you have it in your pocket, if it's still on. So was that 86? It is not. Okay. So we can just switch over pretty easily. So this must be the key for this. Um, open. Okay, we're getting a save point there. All right, so a little bit of, once again, just a little bit of herky-jerky because the save point's here. Um, can I not? Okay, this one's got a little bit of a problem to it. Pick up, there we go. Oh, now it's pull, okay. So this one definitely needs some work on the hitbox there. Hello, please. Oh, God. Okay, I'm assuming that this is... This this might be a boss zombie. Keep closed. Okay, we are back out here now. I wish there was a map. Um, looks like we're supposed to go back in there though. We have a gun now. I wonder if that means... It still shows, still shows going this way. Okay. Yep, still shows going this way. That guy's no longer there. Okay. It's just that zombie. Nope, I'm not seeing a guy at all. Can I pick up this one? Or search this one. Nope, not yet. Okay. Oh, maybe. Nope, not yet. Okay. Um... There was also a zombie over here. Yes. Which we can clearly take out now. Hey. Dude. Right. So once again, four shots. Inventory is full. Damn it. Um... battery, I guess. Another med kit. I don't need this many med kits, man. I need pistol ammo more than anything. I just picked up another battery. For the one I just used. Oh, 
now. Oh, that's that. Okay. Wait, wrong one. I'm not supposed to go through here. So I went through that way before. Couldn't do anything over there. Here we go. Okay. It's guiding us over here now. I have another door here. Big key. Alright, so we're able to use the big key here. Just in case. Oh my god, I can't see a damn thing. Okay. I'm hitting half. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Dude, run. Oh my god, that took five. That's the interaction there. Please tell me we get, got uh, more red kits, damn it. Um, well, at least we can use it to treat our wounds now. 75, nice. Flat 20. 86. Random med kits? What? No. No, 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 no. That's, that's goofy. That's goofy. So one gave 20, the other one gave... 11. That one gave 15. Just make them all give 20. They're med kits. <laughs> that's, that's goofy. That's goofy. Okay. So, we're figuring this out. This is further than I got last time. So, that does say something. Because I got lost here because I was not able to get the key from the crematorium. At least I mean, I'm going to get ammo sometime here. Oh, what is that? No, actually, if I'm smart about this... You are not facing this direction. I can save my pistol ammo. Smart. Alright. Another battery. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. So ammo is not as plentiful as people think it is. For sure. Wait a second. So this is more of a stealth section. Shit. Come on. At this time, I'm actually glad that we got that med kit. Again, that was like 17. As I said, just make them all 20. If you're gonna make, if you're gonna make it the highest 20, don't make, don't make your med kits RNG. Like that's that's kind of dirty to be able to make med kits RNG. Search these lockers. No. Okay. Okay.
believe this is the box I need to switch on. Why did I hear something that was akin to screaming? Going back out. Glad I was able to go through that door while I was running. Alright, so it is telling us to be able to go back this way. So good stuff so far. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this now that I've actually had the chance to be able to play. Yeah, it's much more enjoyable. Oh, are we supposed to go to that dude now? I think we're supposed to. Wait, I don't see dude. Wait, what? Hoping not to get ambushed by a freaking zombie. Yep, we are supposed to go to the middle where that dude with the, the machine gun was. Oh, there we are. What the f was that? That did not look like a zombie, that looked like alien. through here. Oh, and he actually, like, got dragged away. Holy balls. Okay. Please don't tell me you were gonna... That thing just crawled through the ceiling? don't see me. Oh my god, there's so many! some bullets nothing found oh my god I've been conserving my bullets too that was this game like 21 all right so clearly you are now up there I'm assuming this is gonna be towards the end of chapter one here it looks like it it looks like it. So they added chapter two to this. Correct. Okay. Chapter one. All right. So that was the end of chapter one. Interesting. Interesting. It did give us the save at that point. Um, this is chapter two though. So what I'll do is I'll actually do a couple of videos. We'll do the chapter one, then do the chapter two. I didn't realize. Why did it face me towards the wall? Oh my god. Face me towards the wall. Um. Oh, bullets. Thank you. Alright, so there's definitely a lot more to this. We will actually pick this up, um, because it did save at that point. We will actually pick this up with chapter two. Um, once we get started, this has been fantastic. This really, really has been fantastic. I have been enjoying this 
wholeheartedly. Um, we will go ahead and pick this up with chapter two, uh, most likely coming out tomorrow. I will go ahead and get this edited, uploaded already and everything else for today. Fantastic. The improvements in this have been absolutely fantastic. As I said, the only two things that I would suggest at this point, other than like optimizations and stuff like that, which is going to happen as, you know, the updates happen anyways, um, is going to be, there's that one point that you do need pulling that drawer out to be able to get that key. You do need a little bit bigger hitbox there. Two is going to be the fact that when you go to search a zombie, say search instead of pick up. Um, very minor thing there. The big one though, is when you pick up an item, like I just picked up the ammo there, tell me acquired ammo or picked up ammo or something like that. When I search a zombie, give me just like a little thing that flashes across the screen saying, Hey, you picked up this. You don't need the big attention thing like you did with the first key, but when you do pick up something, it is good to be able to know. Otherwise you're going to be searching your inventory the whole time to be able to figure out what you did and you know, it's, it's a little bit inconvenient at that point, just to be able to let, let you know, Hey, you know, I picked this up. That's what it is. That would be really, really awesome. All right. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure to drop a sub and shell, ring that notification bell and smash that like button. If you guys would like to try out down the dead itself, I will leave a link down in the description below. Um, and the pin comment as well for the full game and the demo. Um, actually I'll probably just put the demo in there because of the link to the full game as well. Uh, I think right now it's on sale like seven bucks on Steam. Um, which honestly, if if this has got more to this, honestly it would be probably worth it. It really would. Um, especially since the developers are clearly updating and clearly listening to their player base as well. All right, guys. We will see you guys again in the next video. Thank you so much for all the support that you guys have shown me recently. I, uh, you, you know, a lot of a lot of things have been picking up with the channel as well. If you guys would like to see me live over on Twitch, I am on Twitch Tuesday through Saturday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time at twitch.tv forward slash random planet. As always, guys, may the spooks be with you. And during these tough times, please remember you, your friends, your family, and your loved ones. Please stay safe out there. We will see you guys again in the next Spooky Games video. I really really like where this game is going it has improved so much devs thank you for reaching out for me to be able to play this be on the lookout we will be playing chapter two and if a chapter three comes out we will play that as one as well all right bye-bye for now